I just love this. It just feels so 90s. Sounds good. I mean, this is cool, right, guys? Yeah, I mean, after a while, it starts working fine. It started to show some things in Russian, some things in English, which is totally confusing. Hey guys and welcome to Nomadic Dmitry channel. The last time, if you remember, we basically discussed the Arco OS. I actually got to install it and I installed it and I was just like trying it out for the first time and I was pretty happy about that. But at some point I just felt like, well, VirtualBox probably like not the best tool to use for that. It's just my experience that VirtualBox was not very suitable for that. So I installed this one in VMware Fusion on Mac and it was working great except one thing sound card as you can see this is the configuration file of vmware sound card set to sound blaster 16 so probably you just need to customize it a little bit more and probably will be able to use it just fine but for some reason i don't know the sound card doesn't work but the uh, video driver is just fine so i was able to allocate 256 megabytes of memory of video memory to the vmware and i was able to allocate 4 gb of ram to arc os and this is the maximum because it's a 32 bit operating system so let's actually go ahead and check this out. First of all, talking about resolution, if we go here, if we go to the screen, so this is the resolution I have right here, and this is the panorama driver. So if you want some good resolution, install the panorama driver. I mean, <laughs> there's not much options, but panorama driver is good. So this is the screen resolution, and it's just fine. I mean, I actually starting to love this OS, I should say. The last time we've been trying this one, it felt like a little bit off, but right now I'm just starting to like it. Uh, the only thing that I, I changed is that luckily, so basically luckily, I set this one to Russian. The reason why I set this one to Russian is that basically I wanted applications to support Russian language, Russian locally, because remember, this is the OS from before 2000, basically, which means there's Unicode support, but for non-Unicode applications, it still relies on that old kind of code pages and all that. So that's why uh, I just set locally to Russian. It actually brought some confusion and I'll show you later what does it mean. First thing I wanted to show you is this one. If you want to press Control alt delete this is what you're gonna see. It's something similar to what you see in Windows uh, like 95, 98, like the blue screen, but this one has much more options. Although those options are in Russian and that's what I told you. So once I switched the luckily to Russian, it started to show some things in Russian, some things in English, which is totally confusing. I don't know why this all happens. Uh, so I press G and it's showing the list of running processes. Here, what we have, have escape to exit, filter, a refresh, close, kill the process. Basically, we are able to just manipulate the process like we want. Let's go ahead and press escape and escape again and we're going back to arc os a really nice way to control your processes but one other option for example if you open the terminal session and if you press top you're able to see the list of processor like this and you're just able to manipulate those as well i mean this is cool right guys <laughs> as i said i'm just starting to, to love this os the first thing i wanted to show you is the youtube playback because i remember i kind of discussed this one in the previous video but i wanted to show you this one in, uh, in action so let's go ahead and open firefox Let's type YouTube. It might seem a bit slow, probably because the graphical driver is still not great. I'm pretty sure on a regular machine, like not in VirtualBox, it's gonna be working just fine. Let's open this one. As you can see, it starts video just fine. So it just works basically. And it's playing this one in HD. It might be a bit glitchy in some spots. I don't know, but it still, it just works fine. And I'm pretty sure on a regular machine, it's gonna work just fine. It's just because I'm just uh, doing the screen grab as well as uh, just like running this one in a virtual machine right let's go ahead and open some other video how about we open this video for example yeah i mean after a while it starts working fine but probably because i'm doing the screen grab is just like making it a bit slow but for example let's switch the resolution to something lower oh wait this is just a 480p uh, i don't know I, I saw it playing in hd and 1080p just fine but definitely i need to check this out on a real hardware so i mean it's working i remember guys you mentioned in the comments that i should be able to install a more recent version of Firefox but seems like the 45 is the latest version available for the OS2 Arc OS Ecom station for all the operating systems so I'm out of options here this is the last one I've heard that there's some uh, progress going on on making some chromium kind of browser for OS2 and we might see this one in the future so let's see if there's some good development going on in the future on something more modern for the Arc OS OS2 let's go ahead and check out the applications that we have right here so if we open the programs installed applications uh, what we're we gonna see so the first 
first one, for example, this one. This is a calculator. And this is actually quite a cool calculator. <laughs> I mean, it looks nice. I mean, it's like, it feels something from that old times. I don't know, from 90s. I don't know, I just like it. Oh, it's written on Rex. And Rex, as far as I know, is just like some scripting language for the OS2 slash RCOS. And by the way, all those apps have nice manuals. For example, remember like before the internet, there was like lots of manuals floating around and you like, you don't have much uh, information around the web. You just like was relying on those tutorials. Another thing that we have here is the Odin. And Odin, as you remember, I think I covered this one a little bit in the previous videos about OS2. It's just basically something like Wine. It's like a simulation layer which allows you to run Win32 applications on OS2, ArcOS, Ecom Station. This is like, again, nice manual here. I was actually discovering like what apps can I run on this one and looks like it's not much. For example, this says like some popular Windows programs that usually, again, that usually work. For example, Free Cell, Adobe Acrobat, Real Player, Lotus Notes, Palm Desktop, and just a few apps. It doesn't seem a lot. Still, the idea is quite nice. So, I mean, I, I like this whole representation, like this idea of running the Windows applications on OS 2. We're gonna see if this idea is actually going to get better in the future. So far, it's just like, I don't know, I've, I've been trying to run some apps. It didn't work. I probably need to discover this more and we probably gonna try this in the later parts. Stay tuned and please subscribe to this channel. We're gonna discover it more. Another thing that I wanted to discuss, for example, this one, ISO FS file system. What is that basically? Again, just if you open the help file, it just says installable file system for S2 to read-only access for uh, ISO image files, burning CDs and stuff like that. So if we launch this one, I think it just allows you to mount drives. I think it's gonna be useful for mounting ISO images. Another useful utility, which you're gonna find in utilities folder is the archive tool. But as you can see, since I switched the locally of the operating system to Russian, it has all those options in Russian. And again, it's just like a crazy mix between Russian and English here. But archive tool works fine. I'm able to open zip archives at least. Now, the RAR archives are not working, so the zip archives are working fine. Another app that I especially love is this one, enhanced editor. So if you open this one, you just feel like, yeah, you're like in the 90s, right? Feels like a cool code editor and a medic. Dimitri channel. I just love this. It just feels so 90s. Cool, so great. No discard. If you want something more simple, here's a text editor. And this is like a typical text editor. Very, very simple one. In the previous video, I showed you actually the toolbar. And Ecom Station video, I showed the toolbar. And if you open this, it shows this. You're pr pretty much familiar with this one. It's very easy. Again, disk drives, command line. If you press here, it's just gonna show you like which uh, command prompt you want to open. I mean, there's a DOS command prompt and there's also also Windows session and if you press here of course you're going into Windows 3.1 session and here everything functions like you would expect in Windows basically in Windows 3.x I already showed this one to you guys so yeah I mean pretty much old Windows stuff you can run here Here's a file manager and file manager, I don't know, something strange about it because it doesn't show me the downloads folder because in home I have downloads folder here for my OS2 installation. For some reason it doesn't show you, so this is strange. This is like a very interesting way of running your Windows 16-bit application. It's like combined with all the OS2 windows and you can just like, I don't know, run all those simultaneously. It's very cool. How about I exit this? Come on, exit. Now I want to exit my the whole Windows session okay I'm gonna press here but what if you just like tried that and you want something more like full screen experience of Windows right you just want it to be running full screen yes there's option for that as well you press just here and you say Windows session full screen boom here it is even all your settings are preserved right here another app that I liked is icon editor I really liked in the 90s all those cool stuff about like uh, drawing the icons and stuff like that for example what we can draw here uh, I just wanted to like draw Draw Dimitri here. No, it doesn't look like I'm drawing it right. Back in the 90s, I really love to draw stuff in the uh, icon drawing applications. And I definitely remember there was some for Windows 95, 98, and uh, Windows 3.1, 3.11. Seek and scan files. This one is a typical search tool that you can find in like Windows of this era as well. Like when you press F3, you're able to like scan your whole drive. It was popular back in those days, but now, of course, when I just like all drives are indexed, like in a split second, it's gonna show, in, show up this application. So it's no longer a problem. Clipboard viewer, typical clipboard viewer, CPU monitor, 
as you can see it says OS2 SMP monitor so basically it doesn't say ArcOS and you can see this kind of inconsistency in many cases it just shows like OS2 kind of pop-up windows OS2 windows or like whatever what else we can see if you go to the multimedia folder yeah there's a bunch of multimedia utilities that I have not tried for example digital audio okay what this one does probably it plays those kind of files but I have not tried that and check this out it shows some buttons in Russian for example like Pomosh which means help movies for example let's try this movie what does it say very very cool movie <laughs> CD player, okay, your virtual machine sent a CD-ROM command is not supported, yeah, of course. And for MP3 support, there's article, of course, there's a bunch of articles explaining how to do stuff. And yes, here it just explains you everything you need to know to be able to play MP3 files on ArcOS. Games, there are also games available here. How about we try this game, Klondike Solitaire. No device driver found, I guess it's referring to the audio driver. I don't really know how to play this one, to be honest, yeah, it's a shame, but yeah, and it's, again, it just says OS2 here probably you will love this game <laughs> if you know how to play it chess you're gonna say nomadic Dimitri. so what do we have here we have option to rotate the board let's just like rotate it like this if you like the chess games it's also gonna be very fun for you to play I guess it says OS2 chess and again OS2 reference here solitaire uh, no device driver found again something related to the audio driver I don't know how to play it <laughs> Even if you close it. Yes, close it. Oof. Of course, it also has some document viewers built in. For example, this one, Lucid. You can open pretty much a bunch of documents here. Uh, for example, what kind of documents can I open, by the way? It just says all supported files. Here's some problems going on. Remote desktop connections. I'm pretty sure you can connect to some server. You can just connect, network address, and just typical VNC connection kind of stuff. What else? If we press on the computer and we press a word, if we press properties nothing really interesting here let's go back to system setup uh, what I wanted to show you is this one Arca Nova package manager so there's a package manager built in right here and you can install packages from specific repository I guess as you can see just syncing up the repository so it shows what packages are installed currently those are the available packages and having this kind of utility is really really great but to be honest i didn't found the packages that i wanted for example you guys know that i love the midnight commander in if i press like mc it doesn't return it I, I don't see it anywhere it has the packages but not the packages that i actually like let's go back and discover what kind of devices we have for example if we open this hardware manager it displays what kind of devices that we have basically bunch of usb devices Devices right here and it also says USB audio but I don't have any audio so I'm not sure oh system clock this one I love <laughs> feels something like from Windows 3.1 era register editor it's something I already showed in my previous videos as again it shows OS2 warp register editor logical volume manager what happens when I press this one well nothing happens how about we try this one logical volume simple I don't know what was happening this is strange how about Windows uh, session settings again data exchange public private data exchange between Windows and OS2 there are the settings we can just set up a bunch of settings which is great this one is really cool if you guys remember from 90s when there there was not enough memory not enough memory in your hard drive you usually use the ram disk and ram disk basically took part of your memory and use it as a disk and you're basically like able to attach it as a disk to your uh, machine like as an additional like disk d for example i'm pretty sure it's also gonna be like nice help file it basically has all the information that you want to be able to attach this kind of ram disk drives here i love the documentation really good job by the arc os team i'm not sure maybe probably os2 team as well it's just like probably historically very very good work on their part documenting everything when i open the appearance i'm a bit confused it just has like icon themes for example high resolution desktop icons i'm currently active ah okay so basically i can change the theme right here i guess uh, warp 3, warp 4, warp server, ArcOS blue. Well, I didn't play it with this one yet. How about we change the theme to warp 4, for example? How about this? Apply the team. Yes. Okay, it's updating resources and it's actually applying the team. Selected team has been applied. You will need to reboot for a change to make effect. This is what I don't like about the 90s and all, of, <laughs> all this era. Every time you change something, even the screen resolution, like icon types and all that, you need to reboot. This is crazy. Style preferences, uh, user interface enhancement. It's probably just some customizations that you can do to your UI, which is great. Again, something very, very from the old times. 
Let's see, Styler, nah. Okay, that's interesting. There's one more thing I wanted to try and it's installing applications under OS 2. How about we try this? And in next video, we're gonna discover more apps, but for today, I just prepared one app that you're gonna probably like. So when we open the My Computer and you probably expect like Drive C open, but no, it just opens all those bunch of different options here. So we're gonna open this one, Drives, and okay, it just says in Russian type of, I mean, disk A, disk B, disk C, how about we open this KC, open downloads, and here are some apps that I downloaded that I want to try in the future videos, but how about this one, Virtual Pascal. Pascal is basically a, a programming language especially popular in the 90s. How about we try this, uh, Setup OS 2, and we can launch the setup. Guys, do you remember this kind of interface from 90s when you install applications like this? I definitely remember it. <laughs> Let me know down in the comments like what kind of applications you especially like. Like for me, it was the Visual Basic. I think it was Visual C++ if I remember correctly. But yeah, I was just a kid in the 90s, so I don't really remember everything. So let's just press Alt-I. Virtual Pascal, this program will guide you through the installation. We're gonna press Next. By the way, mouse functions just fine here. Okay, we're gonna select uh, installation type, everything that is free. Select Drive ArcOS. Next. Create directories. Uh, mixed case, uppercase. How about we create a mixed case next sounds good create it gonna press yes and installation just proceeds thank you for installing virtual pascal alt x and we're probably gonna launch it from this folder to go drives drive c uh, vp21 right here oh yeah nice there are like examples here i love this stuff how to actually launch this binaries oh, okay it's probably this one binaries uh, we're gonna launch it vp executable virtual pascal for os2 version 2.1 2004 it was still developed in 2004 where is it located actually? Examples, I guess. Right here, OS2, clock pass. Sample code that we want to try. And we're going to run this. Run. You're about to run a debug the application while ID is running in the window. Due to single message design, this may cause OS2 for hand for same operation, debug. Yeah, I want to proceed. It's nice, here it is. And it's actually like a window application. It's not like application running in the command prompt, right? It's actually like a window application. This is cool. And this is exactly what I remember from this era. All the great help documentation, contents, and oh my, so much memories. But for me, it was mostly visual basic and basic, like a visual and just a regular basic running, running from the DOS. Lots of memories, guys. All right, so what else we're gonna try? Let me just open this menu, just to show you what's available here. Again, all the stuff that you can see uh, right here. And by the way, the help center is really cool as well. I keep saying that help is really great here. How about this? <laughs> it just keeps opening around here. IBM convenience package, networking, product notes, program development. Okay, oh, by the way, some information about the Rex language. Rex files only operate in OS2 sessions, must have file name of CMD and must start with a command line. Guys, I mean, right now, I feel there's so much I didn't knew about OS2. I didn't knew anything behind the scenes of the Windows development. I mean, I didn't knew anything about this OS2 and Windows collaboration. So much stuff to learn, basically. For some reason, in 90s, why, why Windows became so much popular? By the way, when we open desktop network websites, of course, there's also like a link to the Arc Noe documentation, like wiki, ticketing system, and all that. For example, we can open here, like a wiki page. And it's gonna show information about ArcOS installation, installation on the virtual machines, virtual box is also like, here it is, all the info. As far as I know, they're also planning the GPT disk support in ArcOS, which is cool. So it seems like there's a lot of going on in development. I just hope that one day it's gonna be 64-bit and all that, but it's probably just like my dream. All operating systems in 2020 and beyond should be like 64-bit, right? We're gonna see in the future, we're gonna see how it's gonna be progressing and developing. I'm really, really happy that I tried this one. And in the next video, we're gonna actually try some more apps. We're gonna just like try around like more apps here. I'm just still like figuring out stuff myself. All right, guys, thank you for watching. Please subscribe, please press the like button. New videos are also gonna be very, very exciting. So just stay tuned for more videos. By the way, I also wanted to show you like how the shutdown process looks like. But when we press like power off, let's see what happens. We're gonna just gonna press okay and see this beautiful animation. Thank you guys for watching and bye, bye.